Yo, what is cracking everyone? This is your man, Politic the King, and today we're gonna be doing a video talking about the Xbox One uh, screen, a green screen of death. Um, man, as you see by my thumbnail, I was really, really frustrated, and after about, uh, I would say a few hours, I did get it fixed. I watched a lot of different YouTube videos, and I checked out a lot of different information, and I did come across some great information across all those videos, so I do want to thank everybody, and I will be giving a shout out to one person specifically that did help me with my problem. So, uh, here we go. Um, we have our Xbox One. It is right here guys and um, I really did this video because there was a lot of bad information out there and um, you know a couple of the bad information was uh, when your your Xbox one loads up and it's a green screen you press the, the Xbox button and press start that didn't work for me at all I don't know if it did work for other people but it doesn't seem like if you just press the Xbox button and then press start like it's just gonna automatically work oh almost dropped my Xbox again um, so you're most likely having this issue for a couple of reasons and I will tell you why um, I was using internet um, from uh, the library the other day to update my Xbox and to get games you know right now I don't have my own internet at home I will be getting it soon but I just went to the library because their their internet is just lightning fast um, so switching from that and going home I actually put my Xbox one as you see I put it in the trunk and while it was in the trunk it might have moved around and shifted a little bit I shouldn't have done that it was sort of an idiotic thing then I took it home and I started it up and it would just not start and I was just like what is going on blah 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 and I'm looking up all these YouTube videos and finally you know, I did come across one that was really good, but it was just like, I thought I was going to have to get a new Xbox. I was so scared. And what I want you guys right now is you don't have to be scared. It's, it's going to be okay. And there's a really easy fix, and I'm going to just go to the easiest one. Some people will say you have to have a USB. I did use the USB, and I did put the update on the USB. Um, I have some links below how you can get that update and everything else like that. But this is the simplest way for me. So most likely, if you have the green screen of death, it looks something like this. So we're just going to go straight to it here. Boom. So this is your green screen of death, right? It looks like this. It's loading up. You can see the little, you know, light green, you know, wave going across like it's loading. And it just keeps doing this and doing this and doing this. And then eventually you just get a black screen. So um, what I suggest to do is what you do is you unplug your Xbox. Okay, so now you unplug it and um, you unplug it for about you know 30 seconds like people have been saying now as far as this pressing the button in the front um, if you want to you can press you can press and hold the button for about 30 seconds and um, as well it's supposed to drain all the energy I don't know if that's true I think that's just a lot of uh, mysticism I, I would say it's a lot of, a lot of mysticism oh you're draining the energy right oh um, so <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I, I don't know if that's true or not. I, I don't think it made any difference for me. So I unplugged it for a while and then I plugged it back in. And then what you simply do is you press the side button and the open button right here. And then you press the power button all at the same time. And you'll want to do it in uh, side button. Uh, open button and then power button and then you press all of those three at the same time and you hold it and you'll hear a beep and then you'll hear another beep and then what should pop up on your screen should be this and th this is what I'm gonna show you so boom so you should have this and it says troubleshoot now um, you know you do have some options here and the thing was is that I had a flash drive I converted it to NTFS um, which is just formatting a, a, a flash drive and choosing the settings. It doesn't really matter what settings you do, it's just as long as it's F T N uh, uh, I think it's NTFS or NFTS. One of those two. So either way, uh, you can uh, you know you convert a flash drive. You can go to Microsoft and get the offline update. That's what you're doing. You're offline updating your Xbox, and then you can plug that in, and it can do an offline update. 
Um, so I did do that and I did put it on a flash drive. Unfortunately, my Xbox for some reason did not recognize it, but I'm pretty sure that my Xbox already, from when I had had it at you know the library and stuff, it was fully updated, so it didn't need an update. So what I went to was reset this Xbox, and it says restore the factory defaults, and then after you get through that, it's just gonna ask you if you wanna keep your games and etc. Um, I didn't have any games on it initially because I already took things off and I already reset it. So I just cleared everything. I cleared all the settings, I cleared all the stuff. And then pretty much from there, I would tell you guys that your Xbox just goes into a setup mode like it normally would. Um, you know, it, it, it shows you uh, what language you need to pick. It tells you to connect to your internet. It tells you to load a profile. And then from there, you just go through normal setup and then everything worked perfectly fine from there. Um, so this is the easiest way. No USB. All you have to do is just press three buttons like I told you. This one, the eject button, and the power button. And that order, all at the same time. And and you, what you do is you plug your Xbox back in. So you power it back up. And you don't press the power. You just press the side button, the middle button, which is the eject button, and the power button. And then it should give you this screen and you should be able to reset your Xbox. That is the easiest way. I don't want people throwing away their Xboxes, perfectly good Xboxes, because they just can press three buttons. And you don't need a USB. You don't need a USB to do it. Just go to reset your console and it should reset all the settings and it should bring up all your video. I don't know why this two, three hundred, four hundred dollar piece of technology you know just can't load i mean it's just so crazy i mean like i have a sega and it loads i have a freaking playstation 1 and it loads up every time playstation 2 it loads a uh, nintendo wii it loads up man uh xbox 360 it loads up but an xbox one the future of gaming right is not it's gonna give you an error where it won't load that is just it just blows my mind man and i i love microsoft don't get me wrong microsoft has screwed me in the past and i love microsoft but this is just like oh it's just like oh man so anyway i am politic the king if you would like to subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it you can check out some of my video game content and my other stuff my little blogs and stuff like that i would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe especially after me helping you. And I wanna give one shout out because I wasn't able to do this by myself. Um, there's a guy, his name is Scratch Plays. He had the best, um, he had the best uh, pretty much, um, what is it, uh, self-help video for this issue and this pr problem. So if you wanna go ahead and subscribe to his channel, I have a link to his uh, channel as well below. Um, but this is the best fix, guys, and that's what I'm telling you guys. This is the best fix, and he had the best video, and I'll leave a link to his video below in the info. Um, so subscribe him, um, subscribe me, and I really appreciate it. I hope you guys' Xboxes are fixed. And again, go to Scratch's video. We'll pull Scratch up again. Go to Scratch's video if you have any continued problems. Like, if you've done this and it still doesn't work, then you might seriously need some help. So I would check Scratch's video for any other tips and any other uh, help that you guys need. So may God bless your gaming. I am out. Politic the King. Peace.